Hello everyone, this is Noob Cake, and I'm here to show you a tutorial on how to make sexy looking text in Photoshop. Now basically, um, we're going to be talking about just text and the blending options that you can do with it and stretching it out to make it look nice and things like that. Um, bear with me, this is my very first tutorial and I'm not entirely sure how to not ramble, I think, if that's the word for it. Um, but yeah. So as you can see right here, it looks nice. I, it's a, in my opinion, it looks nice and things like that and text up there and everything just looks good. And so, okay, so what you want to gonna start off with is go to new and custom. Just enter in whatever you want. I like 1920 by 1080. That's full HD with the resolution of 20. And the background is transparent because then you can add whatever background you want. Alright, so I would like to start off with a gradient background. It makes it look good. And if you want to keep that at a um, straight line, then what you could do is you add, or if you, you click, draw a kind, just a short little line, and then press shift and drag it all the way up. And make sure you release the, of the mouse and then release some shift or else it would just go back to the way it was all right so that looks nice okay now me I like to add just a pattern overlay set it to overlay and then choose a different choose a nice looking pattern all right and just play with the options you have here so I try not to make the background too not too dark that's what I like to do and so now we're going to start with a simple text which is impact Impact is very simple, in my opinion, because it's blocky, and I'll, it's used like everywhere, like a, on a lot of pictures that you see with uh, it on like with white text with a black border around it, it. This is used very much, and so what should we say here? What should we say? We should say Dumbo was dumb looking looking whatever we'll keep it we'll keep looking there all right so what you could do is click this and you can move it around any shape you want it uh, anything it doesn't lose quality because it's text but what you could do is you could hold shift and that uh, makes it move at the same time I'm not I'm not really a big fan of that I like stretching it out but obviously sometimes you will need what the heck did I just do okay whatever obviously sometimes you will need to do oh I know what I did alright there we go that was confusing sometimes what you need to do is keep it the same size so it doesn't look weird I, I, I can tell that this looks weird alright so now that we've just centered the image we will add things to it now um, the blending options Basically self-explanatory, Be bevel and emboss makes it look beveled and embossed, stroke adds the black border, inner shadow is the inner shadow, inner glow, inner glow, satin that, uh, color overlay overlays color, gradient overlay overlays gradients, pattern overlay overlays patterns, outer glow and drop shadow, so basically everything is self-explanatory. Now. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to do what I think looks good. And you need to have um, sort of an eye for these things. You can't just uh, be good at making text. Like, not everyone is going to be good at making text looks, look good. I think I am kind of. So, we're going to get right into that. Alright, inner shadow. I like adding inner shadows. Mainly because it makes it look obviously like there's an inner shadow and it makes it kind of look like it's coming out of the background just just a little bit like in my opinion so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, we're gonna add the choke all the way to 100% which makes it uh, faded and not faded and uh, stuff stuff like that if you add choke 100% looks like that distance obviously distance um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make we're gonna decide what way I want it to go 
Now distance, if you have it too far, it looks kind of ugly. In fact, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do inner shadow. I don't think it looks good right now. Uh, if you stretch it out, inner shadow doesn't really work as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to add that stroke I was talking about and make it whatever size. Okay, that looks good. Um, inner glow. Now what I have on my noob cake thing, on my noob cake uh, thing, my profile picture, like all the other thing, is I had a stroke for a black background. And then I had a um, inner choke or inner glow that made it have that uh, orangish looking thing going for it. I don't know why I just did that, but I don't know how to, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why it's not showing up. Wait, maybe if I press OK, then it'll show up. It didn't show up. Why is it not? Isn't that showing up? Normal? Oh, there, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. So, choke that to 100. <laughs> choke that. Um, add the choke to 100%. Um, and that is what I did for my noob cake thing. Um, actually, that doesn't look good. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm adding all the things that don't look good. So, the most, uh, maybe the most important tool that you will have to make text look sexy is the gradient tool now this is super helpful and it makes it look really really good because um, no one just wants to look at boring old just plain text they want to look at some gradients so what you'll do is you have to play around of course make it look maybe dark at the bottom and light at the top um, and things of that nature hold on and then yeah you can move it around and everything and move this closer in I think it looks best when it's um, actually close together in color as opposed to making it look dark you obviously want to make your uh, text look bright and readable sometimes having it dark uh, only usually works on a really light background having really having it the background be really dark also might require you to have it really light too if you know what I'm saying like if the background is dark the text has to be light and if the background is light the text might have to be dark and things like that you know just seeing how it all blends together all right so this is that this color blends in very nicely to that and you can see kind of a little preview square over here the preview square is very helpful in fact I use it a lot um, because if you didn't um, you wouldn't know if it looked that great or not but yeah um, sometimes I like to use outer glow instead of drop shadow and the reason of that is drop shadow kind of um, Drop shadow is very square with the text. If you want it to look rounded, you can add some of this. Now, you also have to change it to dark to make it look shadowy. But again, you don't have to use it. You can use drop shadow. I just definitely like using this because it makes it look well rounded um, and stuff like that. Drop shadow kind of makes it um, look very angled and but you can definitely do it and you can change the different distance to zero but alright so see which one you like I personally would alright so that's that's the outer glow and that's the drop shadow now definitely the drop shadow looks uh, smoother or not smoother it looks like it, it's not creased in the same places like as, if you can see like right here it blends in very well that works well if you're using a stroke but if you're not using a stroke it kind of looks bad in my opinion um, so what I would do if you're not using a stroke just use a darker looking uh, drop shadow something like that but since we are using stroke for this one I'll just stick with outer glow okay so now inner glow inner glow again I'm going to revisit this inner glow can be used for things like that of that nature and so pattern overlay 
definitely got to talk about pattern overlay. Very important, this pattern overlay. Sometimes I like to match the patterns with the... Why is it not doing it? Again. Again, it doesn't do it for me. Pattern overlay. This. Overlay. Excuse me, Photoshop. Oh, pattern overlay sometimes doesn't... It sometimes doesn't work if you're using gradients. I forgot about that. So what you can actually do with that one is change all that. Go up here to rasterize layer. Or, I mean, like, uh, rasterize layer style. And then you can add your pattern overlay. Pattern overlays are very useful, in my opinion. Very, very useful. Makes it look very nice. Very clean, fresh, stuff like that. Um, I also use it a lot for my things. Alright, now that matches with the background. It looks really fluid and nice. Now what else you can do is we are going to recreate a photo I had already made is we are going to get a little dark here. We're going to get really dark and all black all and we'll change this one to dark gray again shift and then click and then move up it makes it look nice and dark um, again a lot of the background or a lot of the text looking nice has to do with the background so again this time we will be using a fancy font now I'm going to use a font that I will not say out loud it is beep happens beep happens I don't want to use that we'll do grilled cheese and um, more times with the fancy font like with impact you can move it with while and not keep it the same size and have it still look good with this one you ha you pretty much all of the time have to make it even or else it looks really weird so we'll just keep it even now and apply we will move it to the center all right so now that we have that blending options we can go for um, some not a stroke I don't really like using stroke but sometimes you can use it and it looks nice but a lot of the times I found that it doesn't look that great what what really does look good is bevel bevel and emboss what I like doing is having it just be dark uh, change up the angle just however you want it and this gives it actually more of a 3d type looking thing you know depth you can change to make it look crisp or faded but definitely that adds a more of a 3d effect now on back on dark backgrounds it's very it looks very nice if you do that if you add do not use global light if you have a um, drop shadow drop shadows look good on black black back black ish backgrounds <laughs> excuse me and um, on back darker black backgrounds it looks nice to have a drop shadow as opposed to a uh, outer glow so that looks very simple and it looks very nice and professional for having it say grilled cheese now another one of my favorite things to add to text will be uh, have a good looking rectangle now rasterize this layer and what we will do is we will first off we will make it longer because I don't know why I didn't make it longer in the first place and we will set it at sort of an angle and then 
I will, hold on, I will rasterize this type, and then go up here, or press this, then press layer mask. Maybe I forgot how to do this. I can't believe I forgot how to do this. Okay, so what you can do, control. Okay. Okay, I don't know why this is working. Why this isn't working. Okay, there we go. And then, so what I did just now is I selected this tool, pressed control, and then clicked on this image. And what it did was that it selected it for me. Now what I like doing is creating a layer mask of that and hold on make sure you have it where you want it that's that's very important for this just make sure you have it where you want it now what I like to do is kind of fade it and add it as an overlay and then duplicate the layer by dragging it down here and making copies of it and what you can do just kind of spread it out change the opacity to make it darker looking spread it out change the opacity to make it darker looking and then what you can do control select and then control these and then layer mask why can't I do layer mask yeah you might have to do it for individual ones so layer mask that, layer mask that, oh crap, oh my gosh, this is embarrassing for me, okay, layer mask that, and layer mask that, wait a minute, why didn't do anything, okay, maybe set it back to normal, normal, Maybe we won't have a layer mask. Never mind. You just have to play with what looks good, what doesn't look good. And then we'll change. Okay, you see, now that looks good. I think that looks good, in my opinion. And so, I'm going to move all of these back down here. Again, a big part of it all is definitely the background. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So I think that is what is good in the neighborhood all right um i think that concludes the tutorial maybe you learned uh how to have a good eye and things like that so thank you for watching please like rate and subscribe and all that good fancy schmancy stuff all right see you later everybody oh crap i always do this i always do this